Hi crafters, it's Karen. Uh, I First of all, I want to thank you all for the loving and supportive and encouraging comments that you left on my last video, my Diamond Dies Hop video. Um, so many of you uh, were giving me well wishes and um, sending me prayers for my last kidney surgery and I just want you to know how much you all touched me. I, I truly appreciate it and um, just your your warmth just overwhelms me. So uh, just as a quick update, uh, the surgery I had was that I had the stent in my kidney replaced. They took out the a uh, large stent that was in my kidney. It runs from my kidney down to my bladder, you know, through my ureter. So um, they took out that stent, which was a large in diameter stent, and they replaced it. The doctor replaced it with a more narrow, a lighter, smaller stent. It still goes the length of my kidney down to my bladder, but um, it's lighter in weight and smaller in you know diameter and everything so with that being said I'm hoping that because this one is smaller and more flexible and, and such it will I will be more comfortable as time goes on so I um, that's that's the surgery that I had and um, so far so good I mean you know what am I gonna say? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm still uncomfortable, but um, I'm just tickled that these days there is something that can be done when you have um, scar tissue in your ureter <laughs> that they could put that they could put a stent in so that it increases flow from the kidney to the bladder. I mean, I'm just lucky to be living in this day and age where all that is possible. So, um, at any rate, um, so I'm healing from that initial um, procedure, and um, it's going well. I'm taking it slow. I'm trying not to do too much because on this Thursday, my husband Joe is going for uh, another surgery in his shoulder. So, um, this will be his third surgery, so we're hoping this one will address the issues that he's been having in his right shoulder. And uh, I'm going to have to be, you know, well enough and strong enough to be there for him, to take care of him after his surgery, because he's in for a very long road as far as reco recovery goes. I mean, uh, the doctor said he would be out of for this particular work um, surgery, he will be out of work for, oh, what did he say, oh, uh, several weeks, I mean, a couple of months, and um, so that's a long, a long road that he has to go, so I want, I, I want to be as healthy as I can be, so that I can, you know, take care of him, so that's what I've been doing, I, just taking it easy and um, and all that. So again, thank you so much for your love and support, and I truly, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know how much you all touch my heart. And um, also, you know, my mother's doing well. She's, um, I, I've been trying to be there for her, but right now my brother is in town again, so he has been... Uh, stepping in and taking her to her doctor's appointments and, and such. And, uh, um, you know, my son will be able to help her out when I when I can't, when I'm helping, you know, my husband. So, you know, we, with our family, we have, you know, we have it covered as far as being there for my mother and, um, and me being there for my husband. So that's that's what's going on here at my house. <laughs> it's it's going to be a another trying summer. <laughs> but anyway, um, I also wanted to talk to you about an idea that I had for a series on my channel. Now I say I'm using the word series kind of loosely because I wish I could say that this is 
um, a video that I want to post every week, um, even a couple times a week, but um, but I can't. With the issues that I, I just mentioned, you know, I, I can't make that commitment. However, it will be a regular, a regular post. Um, so this is my idea. So many of us um, belong to um, kit clubs, which are fabulous, and, you know, shop online and purchase designer uh, paper collections, you know, Amy Tan and, and um, you know, Dear Lizzie, uh, Prima, Graphic 45, and those are the, are the collections, designer paper collections that a lot of us tend to focus on and scrap with when we create our videos and our process videos or when we post our um, layouts you know online and and those are the ones that a lot of us tend to share are the layouts that we complete with all of these designer elements however um, I know that I am not the only one that has a lot of these, <laughs> you know, non-designer paper collections. You know, these paper stacks. Um, for example, all of the hot buy paper collections that come in to uh, Michael's, the paper collections from Craftsmith, like this one, it's Tea Party, everybody went bananas when this one came out. And it, it was a hot buy, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And other than, um, I actually have never seen anybody actually scrap with this one. I've seen a few uh, craft projects and card makers using it, but I, I've never seen a layout completed with this particular stack. And obviously, I'm not subscribed to everybody, so. I'm just saying I've never run across, you know, a video with, um, you know, this particular stack being used in a layout. Uh, this is a Recollections paper pad. It's called Fabulous Girl. And this is an old stack as well. And I think this is fashioned after a Simple Stories paper collection. I am not sure. Um... But anyway, it's, it came out as a Recollections paper collection. Then I have some um, paper studios. And this one is just, um, it's called Uncharted. And it has all of these maps and, you know, atlas road street maps and atlas maps. And just all kinds of colorful pages and watercolor and... It's just gorgeous, right? So there's that one. And then then there's DCWV, and this is a, a one that was newly released. It's called Treasures, and um, I love the vintage feel to this one, but yet it still has the bright colors that we tend to gravitate towards, um, but yet it, it does have that vintage feel to it. So it's a, it's a awesome mix. Um, these are stunning paper collections. These are stunning paper pads. Then I'm, I know I am not the only one who, you know, purchases all of these. But like I said, I very seldom see anyone scrapping, you know, doing layouts using Craftsmith, Recollections Paper, Paper Studio, or DCWV. Um, not on a regular basis, you know. So this is my idea. I thought I would start a series and call it um, Scrapping Off the Rack, in which I would focus on, you know, some of these non-designer paper collections or, or paper stacks. And, um, you know, because when you purchase a dress that is not a designer dress, you just purchase it off the rack, right? So... You know, this will be like scrapping off the rack, non-designer, you know, papers. And do layouts and process video layouts um, using, focusing on these um, companies. 
you know, the Craftsmith, Recollections, DCWB, Paper Studios, you know, on, on focusing on some of the paper stacks that I know we all have. And so that would be the focus and also using the embellishments that we tend to pick up from Recollections, Paper Studios and all that. I mean, you know, just to give you an idea of the different, um, you know, like Recollections. Recollections has stunning embellishments, but yet we tend to gravitate towards, you know, American Crafts and uh, Pink Paisley and, you know, all of these, you know, name brand type um, uh, embellishments. But Recollections has awesome, awesome embellishments. Look at these glittered puffy butterflies. Really cute. Same with the Paper Studio. Look at these uh, really sweet feathers with the gold glittered tips. Awesome. This is an old uh, Recollections embellishment pack and it's just an ephemera pack with a lot of different um, vintage style ephemera pieces and tags and whatnot. I never used it up. Shame on me. Um, this is um, stickers from the Dollar Tree and they're awesome. And, you know, there they sit. Um, and Recollections also has um, all kinds of mixed media um, items now. These canvas tags with the gold dipped tips. Um, these wood pieces that they have in their mixed media section. This one says explore. They have all kinds. Wooden tags. Awesome. That could be... In you know, painted and embellished. Uh, the Paper Studio has all kinds of awesome stickers. I mean, just all kinds of um, awesome Paper Studio products. Here's another sticker collection from Recollections. Um, really cute luggage. This is more Paper Studio bows. I mean, all of these wonderful um, embellishments that we have been picking up and purchasing, but yet we're, you know, uh, scrapbooking with our designer uh, items rather than using up our, you know, paper studio and recollections items. Do you see what I mean? I mean, even flowers. Recollections has awesome flowers. Is that too bright? That's too bright. Recollections has awesome flowers. Spear Parts from the Paper Studio has awesome resin pieces and just all kinds of different things um, at Hobby Lobby. Um, you know, flowers for, re for Recollections. You know, we tend to gravitate towards Prima. Well, these are every good every bit as good as Prima. Beautiful. And then, you know, all of these companies um, make stamps. This is a recollection stamp set. Really cute. I believe this was a recollection stamp set, but it's from like years ago. These butterflies. Awesome. These are beautiful butterflies. Stamp abilities. Stamp set. Recollections. It's a beautiful script stamp set. Awesome. Um, Recollections makes um, mixed media sprays and um, glittered watercolor paints. Paper Studio has trims, all kinds of trims, and um, bottle caps and bottle cap, uh, what do you call it, stickers to go in your bottle caps to create embellishments. Just all kinds of things. So, the, my, my point is that um, we always look for the sales and use up our coupons and we purchase these things. At least I do. At least I do. And we purchase all of these wonderful things from Recollections and from Hobby Lobby and um, and and we purchase all of these fabulous, awesome deals, you know, from the Craftsmith and Recollections and DCWB and the Paper Studio. And the paper quality on these paper pads is 
is just fabulous. Very, very quality paper. But we always gravitate towards our designer paper, you know, the Prima and the, um, like I said, the um, Amy Tan and Dear Lizzie and all that. So my idea is to um, get, have a series where I scrap off the rack. And that is where I do a, a layout, a process in layout, scrapping off the rack and using these non-designer um, paper pads, you know, and focusing on a paper pad. Maybe I'll focus on one particular pad a month or, or a week or whatever. However I decide to do it, that that is going to be my, my challenge. And in this way, I'm going to get through my stash. I'm going to get through all of these um, wonderful embellishments that I have and <laughs> haven't used up because I too gravitate towards the designer things when I go to actually do layouts and stuff. So anyway, that's that's my challenge. And if you want to join in, you know, let me let me know and um, let me know if you post a scrapping off the rack video. If you're not a scrapbooker, if you're just a crafter, then you can craft off the rack and you can alter a box or or something using, you know, uh, paper um, that is, you know, non-designer paper. You know, something from one of these. Um, uh, what do you call it? Companies. You know, so um, and you know, let me let me know if if you're posting a crafting off the rack or a scrapping off the rack video. I'd be interesting to I would would be interested to see how you use your hot buy paper pads, or or your recollections paper pads or or what have you. So that's my idea, and I'm hoping I'm hoping to be able to post at least one. Uh, scrapping off the rack video a week and I'm not going to commit myself and tell you what day of the week it's going to be because as I mentioned you know things are kind of sketchy here at my house <laughs> as far as the health issues that we'll be facing so um but I do want to try to commit to at least doing one um scrapping off the rack video a week so uh yeah that's my idea um, let me know what you think of this idea, if this is something you would be interested in. I know there are a lot of kit um, videos, like hip kit videos. I'm going to turn this light back on. Does that bother you? Okay. Um, I know there are a lot of hip kit videos. I know there are a lot of um, click kit videos, Scraptastic, and all of these kit clubs. Um, and, and I enjoy every single one of them, I have to tell you. But um, these... A lot of them are using paper collections that I don't have, uh, mostly because, you know, I don't very, very often order online. Um, so, as much as I enjoy watching those videos, I, it's not like I'm I can go back to my collection, my collection that is the same, and, you know, re, um, scrap lift or what, whatever, you know, I. I mostly scrapbook with these types of papers. Um, so, anyway, that's that's my idea. And um, let me know if it's something you're interested in. Because, like I said, I know we all have these <laughs> these stacks in our in our stash. I know we do. I know I'm not the only one. I can't be the only one because I've seen all the hauls. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, yes, so that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. I'm going to post, or complete, my first scrapping off the rack um, process layout. And um, give me some feedback. Let me know. Let me know what you think. So that's what I have for you today. Again, thank you for all your loving support. Um, truly. I, I just... You all overwhelm me with your kindness and thoughtfulness. So I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye now.